Oh, no way. There it is. That's like the craziest house I've ever seen. Hey, what's up, classic movie and TV fans? My name is Rick 9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're at a really special location right now, and this is a special video. You know, I had one of my faithful, loyal subscribers write to me and say, Hey, Rick, are you going to do any on-location videos soon? And it's really funny because I was planning one, and so I was like... Let's get this going. So I'm so excited here. I'm in the city of Culver City. This is called Culver City, California, which is in the county of Los Angeles, California, in this really cool location. We're going back. We're going back decades. We're going back to 1920 to a studios, one of their forgotten studios. Let me know in the comments down below and by liking this video and subscribing if you want to see more locations like this. I'm essentially going to some of these forgotten movie studios and showing you the remnants. So we're gonna start here in this location and I'm gonna show you where it was at. We're gonna step foot right where um, the studio was. Um, there's other things there, I'll show you that. And then we're gonna show you a building that lasted from 1920 that was taken to another location. We're gonna go there um, right after we're here. So let's get here, let me show you where we're at. Let me show you a little bit about history, forgotten Los Angeles, California history, American history for that matter. It's called Willet Studios, W-I-L-L-A-T, Willat, Willet. I'm just gonna say Willet Studios because that's what sounds right to me. I always mispronounce things, but I think the purpose is to remember this, to look at this location. Let's get right to it, everyone. So I made my way down a little bit. If you can see over there, we're at the corner here of, let's see, Robertson, and then that is Venice Boulevard, and there is a, what, what's that, Del Taco? I think it's a Del Taco. And there's kind of this entrance here, it's very nice. It's over here, Willet and Hulk. Yeah, like poke, will it, and hope. Now, here's the little entrance here. There's a US Donuts, and there's a line of businesses here, which is really cool because one of these is a Chinese restaurant, and I went here like 15 years ago, not even knowing what I was walking around. This is like American history right now. So as we walk, I'm gonna show you the place. There's a, I think it's a Toyota dealership. It used to be Mike Miller Toyota, I believe over here. Now, for all of you that don't know, um, Culver City was my neighborhood. Like, I grew up in Culver City, and most importantly, my mom would always drive us as kids, my brother and I, to my dad's business, and we would drive always right through Culver City. So what's cool here is that we're, this is a corner right here. It's like, it, no one would know it's here unless you come in. So we have Willat Avenue here, and this area here, just circles around. And we're at the corner of what Willet Studios was, right here. So essentially, this whole area going behind, and we're gonna walk around most of it. We can't walk around all of it because some of it is fenced off to private property. It's part of the dealership. But we're just gonna walk around. This is all public access roads here. And what I'm filming right now would be the location of what Willet Studios was which is really cool. So we're kind of walking around. It's really small. It's really, really small, but it's a cool feel because you have other businesses here. It's kind of a closed off little area. Like you would never know, right? You're coming in from that way. What's here? And there's like a bakery here. And there's these little businesses. It has a very small vibe, like very small feel around here. It's just really cool. And um, yeah, now the original building that was here and the land here, we're gonna go to that location. It's still standing, but in another location. So it's just really cool, really interesting to look at. That's the dealership over there. And they have that entrance off, so we can't go over there. It says Musician's Choice Studio. So that's the people who I believe own that area right there. So we can't really go in there. We're gonna respect that. But this is all public access. There's a little roundabout here and people would come in and that's it so what's really cool is if you go here that's the other end over there that we just saw that dumpster over there connects here so this it's this whole little triangular section 3820 hope and this is where the original building would have been right here right in this area and we're gonna go visit that building in just a little bit i'm gonna walk on this side 
because it's of course sidewalk. Cool little entrance here. There's a lot of little, oops, I don't want to fall. There's a lot of little um, rocks here, but this is it. This is Willett Studios, 1920. Now what was cool was when the home was here, they call it the witch's house. We're gonna take a look at it. That location was a home. Like it was a private residence up until the 60s. And then it was moved when it was bought out and so forth and they kept the structure because they wanted to build other stuff here and do other businesses and so forth. But this is really cool. This is a forgotten Los Angeles movie studio in Culver City. So cool. They were able to walk all around. And this is like the end of it. This is cool. I believe the land isn't perfect in the sense of it may have extended more. This whole concrete building with, like it says, hardwood floors over there and so forth. That was all not there before. And then they had the restaurant. So all that stuff wasn't there. You can actually see toward the other street, which was Venice Boulevard. The big street on that side. And there's a little bit of music going on in the background. But yeah, so we went, when we went to that end, that's where we saw. That's what we saw. We're not going to go in there. But this is extend, the extension. Goes to about there. And then that is where we saw down toward the end right there. So we essentially made a full circle. Um, that's a dealership worker right there. So I don't want to like encroach or anything. But it's, it's really cool. Really cool. And I think this is the coolest thing right here. Because this is the location right here. Hoke and Willet. And that's where we were at. Poke and Willet. So we're going to take a little bit of a drive. Obviously, um, there's nothing in there that relates to us. This is just exactly where the original location of the studio was. We're going to drive out to the city of Beverly Hills and take a look at the original, what they call the witch's house, because it looks like a witch's house. But that's the original home. It wasn't a home in the beginning. It was the movie studio, in fact. And then they converted it into a home. And now it's a private residence, so we're going to go take a look at that and see the last remnant of the forgotten Willett Studios. Willett Studios, or Willett Productions, in 1920. Now, C.A. Willett, as well as Irvin Willett, were the co-partners who essentially owned the production company. The architecture of the main building made it immediately recognizable to everyone. It was designed by Harry Oliver in an English fantasy cottage style. The films Down Home, Partners of the Tide, Face of the World, and Fifty Candles were the films that they had produced. The building itself was constructed in 1920 and it was used originally as a studio office and a dressing room. After the studio shut down, the producer moved it to Walden Street in Beverly Hills in 1924, where it began to act as a private residence. I'll take a walk with me. Usually you're all great at taking a walk with me. I just want to show you the proximity to even hear a loud car go by, maybe. This is so close to Rodeo Drive and so forth in a residential area. I'm not going to go all the way there, but I do want to show you like an area that I was just filming and then how short of a walk it is to where the home is. So let me orient everyone. Rodeo drives over there. Okay. Um, this over here, North Santa Monica and Walden. This is Walden uh, Drive and that's where we are at the end of the block is where the home is and you have Century City in the background. Uh, the Twin Towers of Century City. You even have some of the Beverly Hills, Hilton and all that stuff like down on that side. Um, pretty famous intersection here with Wilshire. And we were just driving over there. Um, very, very cool. So let's go in. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. I love this stuff. I really love coming out. Um, you know, especially with everything that's going out. Look at that beautiful little park area there. Um, and just being able to connect with all of you. Being able to like go to these cool locations and look at that beautiful fountain look at that look at that and 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 just like the history that like i love this stuff i eat this stuff up the history of locations like this um yeah so i already saw the home driving in um <laughs> you remember my reaction 
it's it's mind blowing. Like it's 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 one of the things where it looks like it belongs in the middle of Disneyland. Like I'm not even kidding. People live there, and now it's like a corner home. Like it's right. I don't know if we can see that stop sign all the way. It's not that far, but right there, that's where the home is, that corner. And I saw a couple of people taking photos. I mean, look at these homes. They look fairly normal. Remember, I'm on public access. I always like to say that people live here, so it's not about bothering. We can even see part of the home right there. Ah, it's like shooting out of the trees. All right, let's get there. Sprinklers are on down here. And there it is, right on the corner of Carmelita and Walden Drive. Oh my, this looks like Snow White could live here. They call it the witch's home or the witch's house. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that nuts? We're gonna go up to it. We can't go in, but yeah, that's amazing. I'm gonna get a few shots of this. I mean, look at this, look at the, Look at the little chimney outlets there. That's insane. Look at the little, the little gate. Oh my gosh, that was the original building for the Wallet Studios. That is insane. So where we were, that's where that was. Some quick interior images that I was able to find for you. If you think this is a gimmick, no way. Look at the stairs going upstairs. Look at the windows, the patterns, the wallpaper. It's just incredible how this was. This is a more recent shot, of course. Look at the, the mosaic and just look at the bench, the design, the architecture. Look at these little tables, the benches. It looks like something out of like Sleeping Beauty or um, just something like Beauty and the Beast. Look at the bathtub and the mosaic and just how unique that looks. Okay, so I am on the left side portion of the home. Look at that, is that like a willow or something? Any agricultural experts, horticulturists, let me know. Um, obviously it says no trespassing. Look at the gate, this is the cutest little gate. Like I don't use the word cute, but let me tell you. There's like fake birds like right there. Obviously no trespassing. But that's it, that's how it looked. And it was restored to original look. But look at just the gate, even the little like fencing. You can see how the wood is like uneven and it looks like something out of a fairy tale. Like even look at the, look at the rocks here, like how it's all set up. There's a little fountain they've got going on there. They have lily pads in the little like lake, in the mini lake. That's right there. Like, that's insane. Look at this. Okay, it keeps telling me not to trespass. I will not. Don't worry. Don't pick the berries. The witch, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is nuts. This is great. Look at the door. That's insane. I'm, I'm blown away. It doesn't look like it does on camera. It looks so much better in person. You may say, yeah, there are no berries. What's the point of that sign? No, legit, there are berries in these trees. Keep telling us not to pick those berries. I wonder what happens. We turn into something. Look, there's a little, like, desk over there with an attached chair. I'm just trying to get all these little details for you because it's not just a home. Like, it's the whole atmosphere. It's not just the front. So it's not just the front or a facade. It's funky on the inside. I'm but like, look, I can see the top over there and you can see like the chimney is still like strange. And look at that window, how it just like curves down like that. Look at that window, how it's just like a weird pane of glass. This is crazy. Look at the little lantern. Look at the lantern. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Crazy cool. I wonder what the neighbors think. They're probably like, everyone films this home. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Between the time I was here, three or four cars stopped to look. Um, 
with due reason, right? But there's fish. There's actually fish in the pond. You can see them right there. They just swam back. But yep, there's fish. There's like koi fish in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this is it. Remnants of Hollywood. Remnants of what once was. But I'm so glad this is preserved. When people say LA and California don't preserve their historical landmarks. Well, it was moved. It was moved about, I don't know, I would say five miles away. And it's an 18 minute walk. Excuse me, 18 minute drive. Um, and there you go, the witch's house. And or the core of Willett Studios. Well, that's it everyone. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it does really help out the work that we do and hit the like button. I wanna visit more movie studios, more locations, but you gotta let me know that's what you wanna see. Um, so just let me know by the thumbs up, by the subscribe button. You got a little bit of a walk in. Don't forget to always stay positive, always improve yourself, and most importantly, be hopeful. A big thank you especially to my diamond tier patrons, Kevin K, David D, Vito L, Sally N, Citizen Kane 359, Ricky, an honorary Patreon verbal volley. If you want to become a Patreon member, links are down below in the description. Thank you.